Hi everyone, so in this video you will learn how you can remove duplicate elements from an array. If I am saying elements, I mean items which can be integer or a string. So let's get started. Let's have a basic structure here and include a script file that is script.js. We need one button and it will be remove duplicates. We need one ul element and we'll leave it empty. Create an array of fruits. So let's make it apple, orange, kiwi, grapes, and mango. So we'll repeat these two here. Just copy it and paste it here. Now we need one function which will add these fruits to the DOM. The function name will be add fruits. First of all, we'll use map function. So fruits dot map each fruit. So we need basically a couple of li elements and later we'll set the inner HTML for the UL element. We'll use backtick here. And we'll make use of join method. That's all. Now we'll select that UL element using query selector. We'll make use of in HTML property and we'll set it equal to fruits. Now let's call this function here add fruits. Save it. Open this file in the browser. So this is the output. Now there are multiple ways to remove duplicates from an array. I'll show you two ways. Let's go to script file. Here, select the button. Add a click event listener. Add a handler function. So the first way is using set object. So we'll do it like this, roots new set and we'll provide this fruits array here in a set object no matter how many items you add they all will be unique so when we are doing this we are basically getting unique items here now since this is a set object we have to convert it into a array so let's do this there's a method array from fruits to avoid the confusion here you can make it my set like this okay and just copy this variable and paste it here now it's time to call the add fruits function save it go to browser click on remove duplicates so this is not what i was expecting let's go to script file see the issue is this fruits variable here which i'm using I should make use of template, create a completely new variable and use it here because I'm directly modifying these fruits. That's why I'm getting that weird output. Now, when you will save this, go to browser, click on remove duplicates, you'll get the right output. You can also make use of filter method. Just comment out this and we'll modify the fruits here. We'll make use of filter method and it will be item and the index and we'll make use of index of method here so fruits dot index of this item if both are equal we want them to be in this fruit array so let's see what will actually happen here this filter function basically loop through all these fruits and this method will basically return the index of first match so if i'll put grapes here i will always get three i will never get this six okay same goes in case of a kiwi kiwi is already at the position of two so i will always get two i will never get this uh, five so after filtering we'll have only five fruits now just save this go to browser click here you can see it's working absolutely fine 
Now you may be thinking that we are done here, but that's not the case. There's one tricky situation. Let's go to script file. Here, if I'll change the case to lower, same goes here. Save it. Go to browser. Click here. You can see. To fix this, first of all, we have to make all these fruits in a lower case. Then we should go with this filter method and compare them. Let's do this. So let's make fruits here. And we'll make use of fruits.map function. We'll get a fruit and we'll change the case to lower. Okay. Then we'll filter them. Then we'll restore the case, which in this case is initial caps. So fruits dot map. We'll take the fruit. We'll capitalize the first letter. So let's make it to uppercase. Then we'll make use of slice method to get the rest of the string. So it will be fruit dot slice. The index is 1 because 0 is for the A and 1 is for the P. Same goes 0 for the O and 1 goes for the R. Let's see if it's working or not. Now when you will click on this button. Okay, so I'm getting a very weird output. Let me fix this. Okay, it should be fruit not fruits. Save it. Click again and that's the output. So depending upon your requirement. You can use any of these methods. I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.